But if it comes to blows, I, I can ask you to come things. for a different reason, lads. I'll explain it more when we get there. Right. Is that a horse behind us? What? On the beach. There is a rider right there. Yeah. Is it Morgul? Wow, yeah. Is it Lardia? Is it Morgul? <laughs> I can't he, see from that far he away. He missed the boat. I think it's Morgul. <laughs> can you take us closer to the shore a little bit? I can't see from this no, far. I can't see from this far. It looks go like back. Lardia. No. I know that dress. <laughs> It looks like Ladia, unless he Morgul's he wearing a dress. Get on the boat. Oh right, he he refused. Refused. He on the boat. Yeah. Either, within 18, you can in fact confirm that that is Ladia. Yeah, uh, is Morgul wearing a no, fucking it's dress? It's it's Ladia. No, but he wears white. All right, all right. What wrong? What happened to me? What yeah, this is weird. I try not to move too much. Are you okay? Oh, oh dear. You guys are oh, fun. Oh, you having fun? Just sit down. No. Oh, it was fine it was fine. Look at where I would be sitting. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you move one Yeah. Because if I move now, well, I'm going in the now. fucking water. Yeah. Master Darwin, <laughs> there is no port here, so you'll have to get your feet Where's the e-brake? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll be fine so long as I don't have to swim. Oh, just that you look and see the man on the shore with you look and two posts to bring you in. Is that a weapon? What are you doing? He's Looks like he's melting. something into the sand. Might be actually making a port or something. That'd be nice. I... So I don't have to jump in the I... water each time. He's probably just gonna tie oh, the boot down. I don't want to get my <clears> boots wet. Dorothy, tell me how far I yeah. am from the, uh, the bank. Try not to You're run. gonna want to hang port side a little bit and then turn forward. Right. The bank comes forward. Port, port. Oh, a bit more port. You're getting close to the. Yeah, alright. We're close enough to jump in right now, but if you curve in, we can push back out and such. Just throw, throw him the rope and he'll pull the boat up. Yeah. Madness. Yeah. Fucking madness. <laughs> yeah. I you may be deep enough for you to jump go back. over your head. You may be deep enough for you to jump Oh, it's actually really not that deep. <laughs> I thought I was gonna go like head under. You can do it. Come on. Uh, yeah. I got the rope here. This was up the whole time. Just on the post. Don't go tight off. Yeah. Just keeping them intact. They start getting pulled away by the ocean for the days. Uh, you might want to check this. I'm not great with sailor knots. Oh, I got it. Don't worry. You don't look like a sailor tap. No. I just kind of looped it on itself. Oh, don't do that. It's a good way to lose a good old fashioned <clears throat> boat right there. <clears throat> you wanna learn how to do it real quick? Yeah, sure. Thank you. I know there's like a rabbit that like right. humps sure. a tree and, and something something and then falls in a hole and... I mean, yeah, you could say humps a tree. I, I never, my father never taught me like that, but I'm gonna teach you how to do the uh, sailor knot real quick. So you're gonna take the rope? Uh-huh. Right. Take it around. Uh -huh. Here's the tree. Uh huh. It's the one that's attached. Go around. Right. Now that it's around, you want to make sure this point right here goes underneath this one and then back into the hole like that. Ah. And then you just pull it taut. Oops. Just like that. Huh. Yeah. Can't go and keep it in there. Fantastic. I'll probably try and remember More that. More you know now. Yeah. Today I learned. <laughs> It comes in any. I mean, hell, it don't have to be doing uh, just for on boats and such like that. It could be doing for such other things, you know, pulling the uh, carts out of the uh, holes or whatever you might need it for. Teach you a figure eight too uh, later if you're uh, doing a little frisk game, want to learn something more. All yeah. right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Of course, of course, my pleasure. What y'all doing over here in Blairness? Blairness. <sighs> Business, I suppose. Where does Helping out the merchant. 
What's the plan? Come with me for a moment, bud. So, have you been to this town before, lad? Yeah, once or twice. I've recently believed that this town has been adversely affected by one of the brothers who is attempting to hide it under the rug, and we are going to have a little look around and see what we can't find out. I wanted you to come along here to investigate it for yourself and to relay it to your father, because any information we gather will be important. The one who sent me here is a source I would call dubious, but they have their own intents. But the Elven advisor was the one that advised us to come here and investigate this. <clears throat> so, what exactly just be we careful looking for? and keep your ear to the ground. I want you to keep your ear to the ground and investigate. Oh. Ask them about the town and why it's like this. At least be. Try to be subtle about it. I don't want to poke around. From my understanding, apparently, Mem has his own claws here and is attempting to wipe this under the rug, so I don't want to stick out too much. Subtlety is my middle name. <clears throat> it's not mine. From my understanding, these people suffered like in a power grab by a Mem if the Elven advisor is to be believed, and he was rather bloodthirsty about it. Okay. Yeah, I'll look around. See what I can dig up. Keep your ears to the ground and keep your eyes open just in case. And of course you've got your business with this merchant as well. <clears throat> right. We should keep a lookout for that person too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yep. God, I can't see anything at all so fucking white. Yeah, it's it quite bright. You should get a hood or something, Torty. For our drow folk will make seeing around here particularly painful. You should get a hood for midday right, yeah. or something, Torty. Oh, yeah. Keep the sun out of your eyes, like Sarah and I. Yeah. Though it doesn't help with the reflection of the sand. They build their houses out of white. Gentleman blue shirt kind of watching your entire group come in. Doesn't seem to be anything malicious about it, just studying each and every last one of you before seemingly returning to conversing when you come. Pardon me. <laughs> you fucking doing a little bit much in in town, I'm going to uh Excuse me. Yes. 
There wouldn't be a place where we can grab a drink here, is there? Uh, I've never had enough to get any drinks, so I don't know. You're a fishing village, right? Uh, I think so, yes. What do you do for a job? Don't, don't do much. I tried, I tried to help out a little bit, but... I've never done the same job day by day. It's always something different. Ah, uh, you're a laborer then. I see. Still, in a town like this, you'd think there'd be a lot of jobs to do. Fixing up, at least. Mm. I heard Belerno used to be quite the jewel. What happened to it? Maybe once. Hmm. Doesn't look like it now. Alright, I'll have a look around. Thank you, though. Locations. The moment I'm browsing, but I believe one of our friends was looking to buy some potions and some other miscellaneous goods. He heard that there was a merchant here, so he thought he would try his hand. I myself was interested in this place. I'd heard rumours, but, uh, well, as unfortunate as it is to say, these don't seem to be the place that I'd heard of. At least it doesn't sound like it. It's just my old age. What have you heard, Percy? I'd heard that this was a port town, a prospering port town, I should say. A busy area which would be able to import various goods, but I've not. Well, for one, I haven't seen a port. I can see that the lighthouse is still here, but other than that, I've not seen much else. But this is me just arriving, obviously. It does look like the city has seen better days, though. Tell me, do you get much business around here, lad? There are times where we do get more business, uh, other times not so much. Uh, we're in a bit of a, how would you say, a bit of a dry spell here. I'll sure to pick it up. A dry spill in a fishing town on the river. Buyers. Not uh. for sale of anything. You can catch all you want, but if there's no one that wants it, there's no point. Hmm. <clears throat> That is all that brings you here, is a friend looking to do business with a merchant of sorts and looking for a way to... Well, I myself am looking into... I myself am looking into the town, as I said. I'm curious hmm. about this place. I'd heard about it. Again, I'd heard different things, but... I'll certainly continue to look into it, though. I'm curious. Those shoals over there, do you happen to stock, uh, what was it? There's a small creature, uh, claws. Mm. Oh, what? Kind of a, what sort of color are they? Do you remember? Reddish, brownish, I think. They were small, okay. or at least small for it that way. Oh, small things. I, on occasion, I maybe gather a few, but they're a bit of an old one. They come out at weird times, I should say. On occasion, we had to find them. The reason I ask, I had a. Uh, I don't even know what it was called, but it was a dish concerning one of these little. Things. I saw them catch it and then prepare it, and it was rather, it was rather good. 
Hmm. I hope you would uh, pardon me. You say that you've heard things about this town. I, I uh, was a former, uh, you know, person in charge here, so I'm always curious to know why people are saying things, or if it's good or bad things. Oh, it was all mainly good. From my understanding, this was supposed to be a hub of trade. Um, I believe they said it was shellfish that you could put here, amongst other varieties of fish. Obviously, fishing village I... on the port and the river. That's what piqued my interest, to be honest. It'd be nice to get some... Yeah. I'm looking into basically getting supplies for 